Hello viewers, welcome to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a Sankey visual for your project. So Sankey visuals are generally good for analyzing your network traffic or uh, performance or anything that requires multi-level analysis. So here I have one example in front of me that contains multi-level Sankey diagram and that shows how sales happens right from the advertisement. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to build this type of Sankey visual. I mean, multi-level Sankey visual just with the given free visual, Power BI visual available in market. Let's first understand the data before we jump into the visual directly. If you could see the data, we have advertisement, I mean the product, advertisement product. Then we have through which channel the advertisement has been done and then through which device the advertisement has been accessed and then it shows if that user has accepted the cookies or not. Then user ID. Uh, it could be any real time user. Just for this example, I have just named them as U111, U222 kind of. And then we have website activity. So on the website activity, I have given two activities. One is if the order has been placed or it was just a visit to the website. And then here we have the session ID. So session ID is basically done, uh, created based on user details, then device. So when one user uh, access the uh, website through phone, so he is given separate user ID and the same user when he accepts the website through desktop, he will be given with different user ID. So that's the idea. And here you could see we have considered two products for our ad advertisement. One is Tint Cola and the other one is Cola 500 ml. And then there are four channels, email, YouTube advertisement, LinkedIn advertisement and Google. And then devices, phone, tablet, desktop. And then cookie accepted yes or no. You have a uh, user U triple one and U triple two. And then website activity. If order has been placed or it was just a visit to the website and then session ID. So that's it about this uh, data. Maybe when you look at this data at a high level, you might be a bit confused how to visualize this in Sankey, but that's what actually we are going to do. So as the first step, let's import this data into Power BI. Let me create a new project and then import data from Excel. Then now I have imported this file. Now let me just check and preview the data. All seems to be good for me. Let me just select this transform give some proper name for this promotional data all good let's load this data into data model right so we switch to table view here we see the data now this data needs to be slightly tweaked in order to fit this into sankey visual First of all, let me check if I have Sankey Visual with me. By default, Sankey Visual won't be available in your Power BI desktop. So in order to get that, you actually need to download the Sankey Visual from Power BI market. Right, Sankey Visual is now actually downloaded and this is the downloaded file. 
in case if you have a login you can sign in into the market and you can directly download the visual from power bi desktop otherwise you can just import the visual through this method import go to downloads here it is right now sankey visual is added into this project let's let's use this visual and see what are the parameters so if you see the visual parameters are very simple it just expects a source and then one destination along with the weight that's it so on first look you might be wondering that it just takes only one source and one destination so it's slightly tricky to amend the data to make it understand multiple sources and multiple destinations so that's what we are going to build right now because if you see our data our data contains advertisement as a source channel as a destination then from ch channel through which device and then from device we need to take a call if cookies are accepted or not then we need to decide if the <clears throat> order has been made or it was just a visit so we need at least four to five levels in our visual now in order to achieve that we are just going to build a new table dax table click here sign key promotional data equal to right so now we are going to build this table and i'll show you how to do this maybe for first select columns so which table we are going to use we are going to use promotional data that's the table and which column are we going to use first we are just going to use advertisement um so our first source could be advertisement come on and then our first target will be let's so after at this one comes to channel and then we need to get the number of sessions or number of sessions that were used so the reason to get the session id is here is to calculate the weight session id should be right so have a look at this starts from tin cola and then promotional email we have one session id for u triple one phone tin cola linkedin u triple one phone one right so now we need to we have created first level source and target advertisement and two channel and just have a look how this is going to appear session id is going to be on the way okay first we need to add source and target then add session ids so these are just going to be count right so all you can see is from tin cola um from this advertisement we got traffic into google linkedin promotional email and youtube ads now same way we need to calculate how this traffic is carried to the next level so next level is channel to device i am going to repeat the same here but before that i am going to add just another formula that is union so our first table is going to be this and then come on let's repeat the same promotional data source this time source would be your previous target would be the next time source channel and then your target would be device right and then 
for the next level we are just going to paste the same formula next name it's just going to be from device to so it's just going to be cookie accepted right and then same formula to be cookie accepted to user website activity right i think now we are done let's close this let's see now we got this table expanded at multiple levels so it shows actually from phone how many purchase has been made list of how many purchase from youtube how many has been carried to tablet right let's see how our visual has grown now you could see our visual has grown into multiple folds automatically so from this source to this target and then this source to this target this source to this target and then same way it is to the next level so from now you know to see the number of number let's enable data link labels as well so that actually shows you how many orders has come through cookie accepted traffic how many has come through cookie non accepted traffic and all these cookie non accepted traffic traffic has come through phone whereas cookie accepted traffic has come from phone desktop and tablets as well so it's actually good it shows you how to split this traffic and to study them at multiple levels so this microsoft visual uh, default visual has many limitations actually in case if you go for some paid visuals in market you can definitely achieve this level granularity even without doing this type of uh, changes to your table you don't need to build this dax table at all to achieve your purpose but that's not the case with microsoft visual but again free things has certain limitations so that's that's with the microsoft visual so i hope you have learned how to build this sankey visual using microsoft default visual so thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel and keep supporting us